my name is Megan. Welcome back to my channel. Sorry it's so echoey in here, but this is an empty apartment tour, so it's echoey. My husband and I just sold our home. We're in the process of selling our home. We haven't actually sealed the deal yet, but we had to find a space soon. The closing date on our current home is set for mid-March, and it is mid-February right now. So we found a place not too far from where we live. We're gonna live here temporarily while we go through the process of building on some land that we purchased. And I'm really excited because we're downsizing by like half. So that might sound daunting to most people, but I'm really excited to just live in a smaller space, live more minimally, a little more simply, and all of that. If you don't already follow me on Instagram, please make sure you do that. I'm at Megan Bell Made. I update my stories daily with what I'm doing, DIYs, daily life stuff. And if you're not subscribed here, please do that as well. It really helps support my channel and make sure you turn on all notifications so you can be notified as soon as I upload a video. So we are living in a different part of town. It's a little bit more of like a walkable area. We're really excited for that because eventually we want to move to a small town. That is where we're planning to build and it's gonna be a different vibe. So we're excited to kind of have like that little bit of a city life after we've been living in a bit of more of a suburban area. Um, it's a lot closer to some of the things that we like to do. And yeah, that is the most exciting thing about living here. Also the windows. It's a super cloudy day. It's been like this for weeks. Anybody who lives local to me will know if you're watching this video right now that it, it has been so cloudy and rainy for like weeks. I'm convinced the sun is never coming back. So I'm not even waiting for a sunny day to film this because I just can't. Like it might not, it feels like it won't ever happen. Obviously it will, but it feels like it won't. But I'm just gonna take you guys through the space and kind of show you what it looks like, some ideas that I have on how I want to decorate it. And yeah. Okay, so this is the main room here and we have lots of windows which i'm loving lots of light the flooring is beautiful here in this rental it was just restored so i'm super pleased with that i've always wanted floors like this we have this sort of odd kind of uh small sunroom that i'm not really sure what i'm gonna do with maybe it'll be a playroom maybe it'll be an office i'm thinking maybe this will be our living area here maybe put our couch here and then have our TV here, but I'm really not sure because there's this large entry here into another room, which I believe is supposed to be the dining room. I have this light here that I'm planning to change out, but it's quite large and I thought maybe this could be the living room, <laughs> but then I don't know what I would do with that room over there so because it looks like a tv could go here and our couch would fit here so i have a lot of thinking to do when it comes to how i want to rearrange the furniture in here because basically in the living space is like three small rooms kind of clustered together and it would be easy to choose what would be the dining room except for when you come into the kitchen let me show you here is our kitchen and it is much smaller than our kitchen at home and i've got my stuff all over the island and it's not the type of island that you would put any stools at because it's very small, as you can see. Um, <laughs> but it's gonna be a great sort of like workspace, as you can see, because there's a sink right here behind it. And everything is nicely updated here. It's not what I would choose, but it's nice and clean. It's a good palette. I think I can definitely work around it. New appliances. Um, yeah, I love having a window over my sink that makes me happy. And there's a fridge right here with storage above it that I'll probably never use because it's always the most awkward storage above a refrigerator. You like cannot reach it. Huge drawer, look at that, Miles. That is such a big drawer, wow. Wow, okay, so here's my dilemma. There is room here. This is like a little room off of our kitchen that could be like a, bre a breakfast nook or a really small dining room, basically. Do me a favor, leave in the comments what you would do. Cause I'm kind of thinking maybe a small table here, we're not planning to host a ton, and then maybe no dining room at all out there, like not a formal dining room. And I'm also considering 
maybe a very small table here and a formal dining room out there. I'm just not really sure how I'm gonna configure it. It's gonna have to be, I'm gonna have to be a little creative with it. So let me know in the comments what you think. There's also right here off the breakfast nook, a little laundry room. I haven't had a stacked laundry room since I rented many moons ago, but next to the stacked washer and dryer are some shelves. So I have plenty of storage in here, which makes me really happy. And Miles loves playing with these doors. Yeah. Okay, so now let me take you into the rest of the apartment. That is sort of like the living area and is separate from the like bedrooms and things like that. So there's a bathroom right here. And this is a small bathroom, but it's nicely updated. He's got subway tile that he just put in here. And I love this hex tile because this is almost what I picked in our bathroom. And it's got, you know, these fixtures aren't amazing. I don't really, I hate silver fixtures, but I can live with this. I think it's really, really nice. And he added some black accents here and there. You can see the doorknobs. Yeah, let's go out this way. We've got a nice size closet right here. This is huge. And he did some built-in, um, I keep saying he, I'm talking about the owner. Some built-in shelving there, which is really nice. This is what is considered to be the master bedroom. It's not the biggest bedroom in our apartment. Um, has these sliding doors here for a closet. But the reason that it's a master is because we have a bathroom attached to it. So here is the bathroom. It is navy blue. I'm gonna ask him if I can actually replace this mirror because it's like one of those clipped in mirrors and I think it would really elevate the space just by putting like a nice wooden round mirror here. And updated fixtures in here. And the color is actually growing on me. I was not thrilled with it at first, but I think I'm really gonna like it and work with it. Nice updated shower here and more of that really pretty hex tile. Where are you going? Bye. Close it. Hi. And these mirrors you can see on the doors, some of them, you'll see those throughout the house. It reminds me of like a house I lived in when I was a kid, so it's a little nostalgic for me. We have another bedroom here. This will probably be either the guest room or one of the kids' rooms. Another one of those mirrors. A very large closet. And I love the color that he painted this. As it reminds me of the, um, the color I use at home, but you can see it's like a taupe. It's a little darker than aesthetic white, but it's called Agreeable Beige by Sherwin Williams. I think it's really pretty. It pops against this trim really nicely. Can I come out? And then this is my favorite room and what I'm considering making the master bedroom because it gets so much light. It has three walls of windows, which I love, and you know, regular size closet. So that is it. This is our empty apartment. Kind of boring because there's nothing in here, but I will definitely update once we actually move in and I get to kind of play with the space and figure out how I want it to look and figure out what I'm doing about the dining room situation. <laughs> Um, yeah, I think this is gonna be, I'm really excited about living here. It's, it's different than owning our home and it's temporary, but I'm really like leaning into it and I'm just excited for the change. I love change and we get to have our new baby here and it's just gonna be fun. I'm just gonna have fun with it. And like I said, I am really trying to live a more simple and minimal life. I, I talk about that a lot in my videos. I talk about living more sustainably, more minimally, and this is a great opportunity for me to do that. I've able to see things really clearly, more black and white on things I actually need and things that I don't. If you haven't seen some of my more recent videos, I did some decluttering. I highly recommend watching some of that and motivate you to get rid of some things that you're not using. And yeah, I will see you guys next time.